it happened this week. A colorful sign that spring is almost here. On Wednesday, scientists released their annual count of monarch butterflies. Every winter, clouds of orange and black fill the sky in a mountaintop forest of fir trees in central Mexico. The good news is the monarchs came as always. The bad news? Their numbers are down dramatically to the lowest level since record keeping began 20 years ago. The butterflies cluster so tightly, researchers don't actually count them, but instead they measure the acreage they cover. This year, just under three acres. That's down 59% from seven acres last year. And that's well below the average of 22 acres throughout the 1990s. The exact cause is uncertain, but scientists point to illegal logging, the ongoing drought in the Southwest, and pesticides that kill milkweed, the monarch's main food source. Not long ago, our Seth Doan spoke about the decline with Lincoln Brower, perhaps the expert on monarch butterflies. How would the world be different without this phenomenal migration? Well, my answer to that is, what good is the Mona Lisa? What good is Mozart's music? We could live without it, but we would be diminished as a culture and as a people. There's nothing like it. It's unique. Soon, the butterflies will begin their return trip north to delight us on a summer afternoon in forests and backyards all across America. A rare sight becoming rarer still.